Welcome everyone. How many Linux distributions does it need to get a working Go, Rust and stuff, toolchain recurring theme here? Modern complexities, you don't only need one C library, uh, C language, you need half a dozen, including Rust and Go and, and other fancy stuff to get a working Linux distribution. And case in point, of course, Go bootstrap fails. Um, upstream, funny, probably upstream watched my YouTube videos because some month, half a year or a year ago, I criticized it. Go is using strange names for their bootstrap, um, like RM64. Well, strange and, and strange, actually, some actually made sense, like RM64 instead of ARCH or so. But they changed them. It's like, yeah, why after, after years of releasing a programming language, change the bloody configuration names? What could possibly go wrong? Yay. I mean, people like C and C++ break their stuff in small, subtle ways and go in the face, let's rename the bloody architecture def definitions some some years in. Um, let's see, probably many uh, fail here, many builds, also like recurring theme, epic, thread wrapping, faster to build errors, right? Um, what do we have here, some LLVM, what precisely is that even for? Oh, but that is not the point of this video, okay, WebKit so far so good. Um, you know what, I think we Probably simply comments. I'm, I'm not uh, really, or should we? Okay, maybe we take a look later. So here is Go, Mipsel, Go. So some Mipsel builds, uh, some Go builds fail. Um, usually for architecture not known, Go just fails. Command link fork. Oh, that's a new one. Like, yeah, this is really disappointing and welcome everyone. Um, there are so many cool things to do and of, of all things I need to, uh, of all things I need to f refix the bootstrap of languages. I'm not even the greatest fan of, oh, that's, oh, that's quite some. Yeah, that happens if you rename um, stuff. This is strange exec format error. What are we trying to do? Um, the, the sad thing is, I mean, I could simply. Can you run lscpu again for there in German? Uh, why? For you in German. Yes, you in German. Um, I mean, we could simply revert that. I believe this was fully building, right? Some months ago, like some months ago, everything builds and then some updates. Um, probably a recent. I don't know. Probably not that one. Mm, probably it was more. Th yeah. So probably it's that one. Um, I mean, we could check that. You know what? I'm actually, you know what? Maybe I just revert it because I'm, I'm not in the mood for such nonsense. We could actually check and verify nothing, nothing like dissecting. It's actually merged. I thought I Touch, did I not touch some? I thought I had touched. Maybe not. I did not commit that. You know what? Maybe. Someone very clever comments, you can get pre-built binaries for Go. Yes, for some Windows system, but we are running our Linux system, right? And we um, also, I want to be able, so not only we are running our on operating system, it's not like they are not pre-building binaries for just our operating system. Plus, if it's open or as it's open source and our stuff is 100% open source, we are not mixing other pre-built incompatible and not reproducible um, binary builds in there. We want our stuff built from source so that we can review it. That we like, if you want to fix a bug, it helps you nothing, even if there would be a 
pre-built binary. It helps you nothing if you then can't fix a bug, especially for our, like we are building literally 34 freaking architecture combinations, including Musil and, and so on, right, and Spark. It's not like, hey, even if they would have had one download, they don't have all 34 of them, which is what we are here for. But yeah, thanks for your very clever, helpful comment. Let's merge that again because I wasn't sure whether that other working copy changes, not to... Yeah, I maybe had other working copy changes. The question is, I thought, let's see and blame this. So they they renamed this name and I was already wondering that one of our developers updated stuff here. So this was last touched in this revision. The only thing, okay, this was also mostly rewritten. Um, the thing is now, we would, like, even if that would build, I would want to rebuild all other builds anyway. So some other go builds build. Okay, there's also Pango, that is not go. So actually only x86 stuff build fun stuff. Okay, so then let's give it a try. Let's actually let's let's actually try what happens here like one build first. Oh, so did we download that? No, that is still a arch. So this is still not the right commit. problem could also be potentially building that through multiple rounds. What do I have here? Yeah. Do we not have some version? One twenty one. Maybe I also this version number go version is go one. It's like people build allegedly the best programming languages and then they have version output as shitty as this fat fingered clover together nonsense. Yeah. Let's build the matching version to the system. Let's hope that works. Yeah, I'm really getting if you're if you didn't get the message yet, I'm getting really tired of all the programming languages that are incompatible and constantly like are in their infancy and constantly breaking. It is possible that it broke now through bootstrapping with versions that already doesn't support ARCH. So what we would need like to support this fully, but I, that, that's not what I want to do today. I want today to release really the otherwise scary fast Linux distribution I not care about. Google's go shin um, No, this still fails. Cool. So I knew it's it was broken for months, like pro tip, maybe don't last minute fix the stuff. But if it would be rust, it would have long fixed it, like basically it goes like yeah, you know, whatever. Um, I what would be cool would be some graphical exploring thing. Maybe something like that sort here. Does this merge? Probably not. No yeah, conflict. Uh. We would need to uh, revert more. So that one.
Go cache convert. So that is my, so that is so such kind of stuff, of course, breaks and merging. Yeah, you clean up some stuff. And, uh, what? What is this one? Convert go on contract version one. Escaped. What? What have I done here? X86 and R. Oh, this is just reformatting there, but good. Oh, this probably should be the same. Okay, I just. Okay, fair enough. Um, my negative reverse match that too. Of course, some stuff needs to be redone then eventually, but that is in for other Go maintainers and lovers to do. Convert. Update go so that. Connor and partially river or otherwise more precise cache. And uh, tool chain. This is relatively. Oh, uh, maybe this is also a new bug for. So you see, their stuff is complex. Um, interesting. Uh, maybe that is even then a new bug for bootstrapping if we previously didn't fully bootstrap it more. But at the end of the day, it only counts that something bootstrap and works, like nothing of differently. So the, the point of more bootstrap would be to make sure that, um, like if, even if you have old stuff or, or no stuff installed that it would build, um, helps you little than if, um, if that doesn't work. Maybe then we wouldn't need to revert so much, but maybe we then could use the latest version potentially. So yeah, let's build all parallel, um, like very short sleep. I believe this was, okay, 40. I believe this was seconds. Let me just check my own. Your sleep should be in seconds. Yeah, it's straight to sleep. Um, yeah, okay, because now we don't have load in load. Okay, what, what we could do to um, actually uh, use this time is because some builds already fully built, we could test that it actually work because now we have some 40 seconds stage time in between the start of the build. Um, that should be ISO x86, no? Oh, x86, 64, oh, Jesus, minimal Firefox. And I mean, may maybe, why did I even name that no code? Or maybe, maybe better would theoretically be generic. Not even sure why I use no corner and not was a technical reason. Or was maybe no corner had already some SSE more than the original Atlon 64. That, that is possibly the case for just the tiniest bit of extra performance. Anyway, we built this like this for years, so probably we don't change it now. So stuff is building there. LVM that failed. Some kind, yeah, epic threat ripping Ryzen faster too. Build errors, <clears throat> run vid IO here for our x86 image, maybe not as much memory as we are building. 
8 gigs probably should be, and maybe also not so many cores. So, oops, nah, nothing like a typo. Let's, so that is, what are we even running? Did I put this, probably put it with Efi. Maybe I should include the platform name here. Then I would directly see whether Just let me because then we have plot platform and so platform platform two alpha platform ify maybe we should have done that slightly better maybe we should have used here dash ify Okay, but for now, so plot from and for this plot from platform, and then if what was the syntax? Was it? The syntax highlighting. I always forget. Is null or onset nothing substituted? So yeah, if it is set, then var is set and not null. Yeah. Rebuild only x86-64. Because we need the ISO regenerated. Yep, that is some load. Hey, cool, something GDB. Something doesn't apply anymore. Some IOCTLs, which build was it even? Power PC? Right, I believe there might have been. Was there a bin utils update the other day? Or is this just. Yeah, the amazing GNU threads. Mm. 
terminal needs reset was in some other row positioning mode whatever um so yeah automatically partition for this so what did we had there here so that expands correctly just for me so then i see for testing is it EFI, is it not? What did, did, what did I boot? Just a tiny little bit things. But these are the small things that polishing and are times helpful. So better if, uh, oops, uh, that is now all set up. That doesn't take long. And what's up with Into tools. Ah, GDB. What was GDB? Hello, more IDM logs. Was it not GDB? Something failed there. Except WebKit GTK. Yeah, you add recurring theme. You add WebKit or ah, maybe I read this wrong. Maybe I. Oh, this is cargo. Yeah, so if you build everything in parallel, then uh, so that is actually cargo because cargo failed. Probably as a spark or risk five even and x thirty. Do we not have x thirty two cargo? That's the wrong output. So that's that's wrong. Yeah, cool. I mean, we we don't really need that for now. I need to check that, but for now, so, yeah. That actually that brings the question: Can we shall I subscribe? Can we, if if we should and can hotfix Firefox to build like not a JIT version because the X AMD sixty four JIT code is of course incompatible, but maybe we could build a JITless X thirty two. Firefox X32, like if we like for MIPS and stuff, no X32, uh, you Google stuff, you only find bullshit, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, but the other thing is risk 5 What is 3L Neo? Apparently Thompson. Yeah. Today be in Dublin because we're not. Nothing like testing that some other time zones actually work. So that should be installed. Yes, HDHCP. Ah, all right, let's test DHCP because I tweaked DHCP the other day. Because of course I did. And then let's KXEC. Yep, that KXEC. Got to love my Linux distribution. What's there? Uh, SSH, we didn't configure a key. Yeah. It's, that is my own fault of skipping that. It's like, yeah. Um, could polish that message slightly. Um, let's, um, let's polish here some stuff um, because unprofessional things trigger me. Other utils or not? I know there there was other utils. Let's see. It triggers me like trying. You don't you don't try. You just do so. No saved state for all devices. Using defaults. Oh, I don't, didn't see that, but polish other in a default message. It looks a little bit better. 
Not that we look like other unprofessional news distributions. And um, the other thing was SSH. Can't start SSAD now, I found. Please create the keys using either. Please create the keys using either SSH keygen key or stone. Cannot not SSA, no SSA host keys found. That is min page section By the way, do we need this? Mostly it triggered me this, this space, if you're wondering why do I polish this too, uh, because this, um, this, this double exclamation mark and this extra space is it is so non, not, not English. Um, I mean, it's, I mean, I, even I have not seen this in a decade, right? But like the usual testing, you skip some stuff, you see some diagnostics you have not seen in a while. Can't start as HD. I mean, theoretically, we don't need this extra. I mean, it failed already, so no SSH host keys. that is enough. This is better. If you're further polishing, leave in the comments. Patches, welcome. No SSH was key found. See, this is it, Kijan, one or stone. Yeah. So, um, other stuff is building, that's amazing. Um, we probably should, yeah, we have some, some things that have conf okay that came up because I just some days ago changed DHCPD um, PSAX grab DH client that is running yeah 
Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this message, but that is what the DHCP scripts do. appears to still work and slightly better. So what I changed was previously we had only uh, for decades for since Rock Linux, I actually probably I've not even done that. But um, I even I never had a need for two DHCP clients, but now 2023 T2 now supports running individual DHCP clients on each interface and gracefully hand handling uh, among those. Um, so yeah, we, we could quickly check if stuff still builds. So yeah, that is a source tree that comes bundled now. Yeah, quite some sources, tens of thousands of files. And welcome everyone tuning in in the meantime. And let's, let's try just building something. Just in tiny little tests that stuff works in principle. Rust and Cargo. What other stuff failed in the meantime? Actually, some. Why does Motor 68K fail for Clang? Maybe we simply. Because the support is anyway half broken, there is some support for that, but it doesn't really work the most. Actually, maybe we want a. Okay, fine, let's. Motorola 68K. Let me th think about it. Um, does Clang. I mean, okay, if we define. Yeah, of course, we default to native code gen. Yeah. Maybe it's more broken than before now for Motor 68K. Uh, what was my naming of that? So yeah, looks like most stuff mostly builds. Um, of course, this VM builds are now vastly time continuum disturbed with all the excessive load otherwise on the course. So this build time estimate of one minute, like yeah, we have plenty of background load, so that easily could double and triple. Yeah, I still have. Some other, what, what was failing, risk five, right? So that was cargo. How much did I hot fix for risk? Oh, quite a lot, thank you very much. Yeah, when you build the Linux version, you have stuff to patch every day. Which patch even failed? Succeeded? Failed, failed. Hmm. So that is. So that patch succeeded those two. 
there's those two failed. I mean, target, what is this? Inline, fake clone of. Hmm. And we could give it a try and see what happens with that. Not the highest hopes, but I mean, if that doesn't work, we need to further rebase and patch it. Okay, ah, only double the build time with this background load. And let's try some ninja thing that should. Oh, this probably doesn't emerge enough. Yeah, Python, how long? Ah, also two minutes. Mm. When a Ryzen 1750X is not enough. Is it as Moto 68K? Okay, that does not. Um, we could skip that for now. That needs at least minimal. Maybe maybe it's minimal. I later see. So basically, we don't need that for the rest of the build. I can try to fix this at the end. Did I even? I probably. The funny thing is, all the Risk Five boards I have, which are now three, all of them don't support running 32-bit code red because it is optional. I'm not even sure, probably, as per usual, that probably wasn't part of the initial Risk v specification. So, m at least I'm not sure, but I mean, all the early silicon doesn't implement it because now Risk 64 bit so much greater. Who cares about 32 bit code? Um, so, the only 32 bit Risk v that I have, I guess, as far as I remember, is probably running uh, open source cores on an FPGA, and probably I should do that. That was um, this was which risk five core did I spy no risk five or so? The thing is it's using exotic probably was that one. Um, the problem with this stuff is always like the tool chaining. Really not the greatest fan what happened here with with all this you need so many exotic things for that even to Oops. Okay, Python. Okay, that build. Amazing. Okay, that build. I mean, ITS, that's there. Does this need PIP? Does it need PIP? Or does it build? Oh, they even build. Amazing. So, yeah, do they have here any performance features and whatnot progress? Do we have here. Yeah, four years last year, no September. What fixes do we have? Spinal merge. Maybe not the greatest development. Yes, I sh I should run this. Ironically, I actually I had that booted. Um, but then it, it wasn't the most useful. I mean, what was it? Was it eighty-ish, eighty megahertz? Probably as fast as the Spark Station Two. Okay, that otherwise builds. I didn't have network. Ironically, I purchased like probably already two years ago some six, seven dollar I2C or so network dongle that should compatible to this spinal HDL SOC thing. Didn't even try that yet. Probably should. And give over precious 32 bit risk 5 binaries finally a trinary hardware. So, yeah, the capitulation this is maybe not from us. But yeah, lowercase, uppercase, yeah. who cares, I guess. So, um, yeah, here is some disappear. Yeah. So it's fine. I, we, we didn't start it. Um, so so far so good. Yeah, I, I will simply revert this go stuff for now. Um, this needs to be in a more like I can't fix everything, especially if I don't. Basically, we only. I mean, ironically, we don't even. I mean, I I could 
because I believe we don't have any Go stuff in the base system. This is just for your convenience and so for for your convenience I spent more time fixing bugs. Oh my push is one of the things that is go. That's a little bit newer. Nothing like testing. I mean, it's now unfortunately using the slightly newer goal that we just reverted because I didn't rebuild that part yet. Oh, load from 151. That probably explains why stuff in the VM is a little bit slower. It's a load of... But yeah, scary fast, finely tuned even with a load of 156 of 100, what that means is 156 processes in a runnable state and the Linux scheduler can nicely distribute that to all those cores. So, oh, that also doesn't work. Cool. More, more, more. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that's probably it for this video. I mean, we could um, we could check before we commit a non-working version. Did the previous version work? I mean, that is with the new Go version though. So uh, maybe it builds better with the old Go version. How long did it build previously? 25 seconds. LVM also failed for all there. Hmm. Yeah, that is that is a thing. Are we was something killed away? Of course, here is like an uh, internal compiler error. Are we hunting? Are we hunting a new AMD bug? <laughs> new illegally. AMD Errata 1485 or so discovered live here on this channel. Uh, which one even bought that? No, that also fails. Okay, fine. Then we can also commit that. And we wanted... Okay, if that was super age, that was probably failing previously. Invalid application of size, promise? What the heck? Okay, that is something else. Mm. Oh, it's also UC libc. Maybe this doesn't want UC libc. Ah, we newly discover that because uh, probably that was previously the case. I just added LVM and stuff to the um, minimal build because it is more primary use case, whatever stuff. So um, open risk. We actually get more coverage now. So this pre previously was not even built. Yeah, that's it already. So that probably is what's going on here. And yeah, uh, use libc probably not the, the library you want to build complex open source code with. Okay, risk five still fails further. Yeah. I mean, what I could do here is simply disable Rust for risk 32 bit risk 5. Uh, we're currently the only ones compiling and working on this stuff. I mean, the sad thing is, previously it was building. I mean, maybe I spent some extra minutes of fixing this because previously I had this building. 
Yeah, that's it for this video. Um, more stuff is building. Go will probably be partially reverted. Um, some other stuff. Zero things, last minute Google meditation. I hope you enjoyed to learn something. If you want to support this effort, this is Patreon, YouTube membership, GitHub sponsor. Otherwise, have a good day or night, and I hope to see you soon for all the next fixes to come. And probably have, of course,